night on our way to another language exchange. I always forget to take the phone out, but it's also kind of obnoxious. But Valerie, you're always obnoxious. Listen, guys, shut your pipes. Okay, just, you just shut your pipes. We're, we're moving on. Morning, everybody. I just found out this morning that in Spain, they do rolling blackouts. We're rolling. <clears throat> I woke up and the lights weren't on and I thought, did I pay the electric bill? <laughs> and I said, oh, that's not my <laughs> And I got a message from my housemate saying this is normal to be good happy wednesday morning guys boy it has been oh it's not even morning anymore it has been an action packed day the uh they did rolling blackouts here you can check and see when your district is going to have them according to the site the power is supposed to come back on at noon uh, it is after one, it has still not gone back on. Was the really biggest drama of the day is that I lost Super Larry for probably about an hour and a half. You know, my housemate, was, uh, she was going out of town today, so I thought that he'd gotten out. And it was, I mean, I, I went downstairs, I went, it was, a, it was a thing, it was an hour and a half of thinking that I lost the super cat. Finally, my pendeja ass, after looking in the fucking refrigerator, looking the dishwasher, then decided to open my bottom drawer where he was tucked in the back. And quite pleased to have found me. Uh, so, that was quite a morning. So I just pulled over to clean my lens and look at what's just across the fucking street. I'm walking to Aldi. That's just me bragging about where I live. Hi. Okay guys, I'm back from shopping and I was very pleased to see that the power was back on, but the internet still isn't. So I have stuff to do. And while now I can charge my computer back up, uh, I can't share stuff that I need to with the person I'm supposed to be meeting up with on, on the interwebs or on the, on the WhatsApp soon. So I'm going to have to postpone that. Figured I'd try to also explain my living situation because it's 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 interesting okay so this part that you guys have seen and you didn't see this bathroom i don't think we've got to have a bath on this side too is is one and a half bathrooms a kitchenette and then two bedrooms the other side is the whole apartment. So there's, it's a very cool apartment. That's where the owner lives. And that's where she's got a friend who's in there right now. So we share this front door uh, and she's really nice and lovely, but that's my living situation. It's very, very cute, but I don't think I can do this for, for more than a month or two. Um, Cause it's, it's small. I'm basically essentially kind of living in a, I mean, I don't want to call it a dorm room because it's really nice, but I'm living in a room with kind of like a, it's, you know, I have not had a sofa since I've lived in Barcelona. The first place where we stayed for, where I stayed for like four nights, um, it was a sofa, but it was so bad you couldn't even sit on it. It was like, ask my brother. And since then, I have not had a sofa in three months. So I really, uh, I, I, maybe I just manifest a sofa. Okay, bye-bye. Okay, we're at John Cake, which is supposed to be the best cheesecake. It's got crazy ratings. It opens at 12.30. I got here at about quarter after 12. It just opened. Yeah. 
Hey, that's Justina. I'm excited for this cheesecake. We're gonna have a regular and a chocolate. Yes, I'm gonna come back for all the flavors. I think I might have to join you. It's only five dollars for a, a, a thick slice. Yeah. Super Larry wanted me to show you the difference between the water in the Gothic Quarter as opposed to the water in Raval, which is. It's like Flint, Michigan. Okay, I'm gonna give you a little brief history. Remember, remember the last one? Okay, here we go. See, I just moved this. Do you see this stuff inside here? Look, you see, it's like bleach crystals or something. Here, wait, let me show you. See, look what happens. Look at the bottom of the pan. Watch this. Watch this get all over my hands. Crystal mother fucking clear. This is why they were saying the water is drinkable in Barcelona. I don't understand. And now we're going to boil it and see what happens to turn on. I'm going to do... Hey, what? Uh-oh. Okay. All right, Super Larry's doing a pre-boil <laughs> test. All right, so it still does that stuff on the bottom. Let's see what happens when we pour it. It's disgusting. We're gonna go see an old friend. One thing I'll say about Barcelona is that I will be seeing more people now than I did in the States. She's, I know her from my days in the wine and spirit business and she lives in, in LA now. So this is her, she and her husband are on a vacation and I'm going to see them. So that's very exciting and you'll meet them. Hey guys, we're here at the Sir Victor Hotel with some very old friends of mine, Wendy and David. Hi everybody. Hi everybody. How's it going? How are you enjoying Barcelona so far? Wonderful. Tre wonderful. And how do you know me? How does anybody know you, Valerie? <laughs> and we used to sell booze together and then wine and and we might have tried smokables at one point. Oh my god. <laughs> Just forever. What's your what's your favorite thing about, <laughs> about you? I mean my I, modesty. I want wow. you to sing. Oh um, yeah. Sing. So do I. I my favorite thing was when we did our work with. Yeah. And we went to the beach and smoked joints. And I don't even remember that. I do. Say hi, and then David hi, everybody. Yes, then tell us about you. That was the joke. That's okay. Uh, let's see. So I am a chronic golf watcher, and uh, I love playing host. Okay. And he knows things about food. Just a little. I know about alcohol and about wine. All right. And we eat really well, and we travel, and we race two amazing humans. And I haven't seen her in 12 years. I've been in Barcelona for three and a half months and I'm seeing them now. That's pretty funny. That's awesome. Because we, we had to cross a continent just to find you. I love it. Thank you for coming to Barcelona. To, I wouldn't have gone to Thailand. No, I don't blame you. That was a schlep. So. They're trying to find a place to grow up. I want to. It might be <laughs> Barcelona and it might be... I, I'm kind of thinking inside. Uh, Alicante, Alicante, water. Yeah. And I need Because they're from LA. Yeah. I'm not a city mouse. You're not a city mouse? I'm not a city mouse. Look, he has no wrinkles. No wrinkles. You can't say the same about me. Can't say the same about me. I'm, 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 I am, you know, we're all fucking falling apart over here, except for David. Wow. That never happens, especially with the E. Hey guys, we're going to the beach. 
I haven't been to the beach since I got to Barcelona. It's been too cold. Though, so this is nice because it's warming up and getting some vitamin D. And she leaves back to Paris tomorrow. And the beach looks almost similar-esque until there's mountains. We don't have mountains. Justina. Yes. So, how did you like your cheesecake yesterday? Well, you know, the cheesecake was delicious, and it is made, the classico is made with Parmesan Reggiano. Amazing. I personally loved it, but I love cheese and I love dairy. But it fell to the ground inside this little box. It was my fault. I was the one who dropped it. No, it's not. My fault. I thought I dropped it, but that's besides the point. I go back into the shop. And the woman looks at the box, had a customer in front of her, and looks at the guy and goes, Oh, sir, do you need a bag? And he's like, Yes, please. Then she speaks to me. I didn't offer you a bag, so, but you didn't ask for a bag. And I'm not going to give you a free slice of cheesecake. I didn't offer, but you didn't ask. Yeah, so, yeah. I was blamed for that. Hey, Floridians. Remember when um, La Tub got the really good ratings on their hamburgers and then it was always so packed and they were so cocky because they knew that you were going to wait and you were going to, I mean, you would have to wait a shit, shit amount of time and nobody cared. That's how John came through. And they resent the people coming in who don't know what they're doing immediately. They, they're ready to be upset with us. So, um, and then, and in a minute, when we have a different background, I'll tell you about the story at Al Campo. Yeah. Okay. Here's the story about Al Campo. Yeah. We started. <laughs> we started um, out wanting a, a juice type situation, and we got a couple of things. And Justina went first, and apparently he charged her the wrong amount, but she didn't say anything. And then I didn't notice that, but then my two dollar and eighty nine cent uh, orange juice. He tried to charge me three dollars and twenty-five cents. Not cool. It turned into a. I. It was beyond a kerfuffle. It was beyond. It was unnecessary too. It was completely unnecessary. It was a fight. I was. Yeah. I was yelling and, and I won. Yeah, when did. the manager or somebody else finally came out, yeah. she's like, "I'm sorry." Yeah. She apologized. She apologized. And she apologized. And he still was very. Angry. He tried to. He was going to take me down at one point. Yeah, he came after you. He like lunged towards you when you said, I'm not paying them. Because I'd already opened and had some because I was thirsty. And I was shocked that he wouldn't let it go. He, he would, and him. everybody. So, yeah. I honestly thought the police were going to show up. Like, somebody would have called the police. Like, it got to that point where it just fell. And he told me not to yell at him. And I'm like, how, how can I not be yelling at you? Yeah. We're not inviting him over for me. <laughs> Oh, and I forgot to mention that once the manager told him to rebill me, recharge me, he charged me two dollars and ninety cents. It was two dollars and eighty nine cents, and he charged me two ninety. I actually told him to go to hell in Spanish. I've never done that. Yeah, he was scary though. Yeah. I mean, he goes after a woman. I swore he said, if you're not going to pay this, then leave. Then just go. You know, either if you're not going to pay. And that was when I tried to go. And bitch done lunge at me. He lunged at you like a football player. I was like, what is going on? And I have osteoporosis. Yes. Hey, guys. It's Sunday night. I'm heading back to meet Wendy and David for supper. We're having a nice dinner. And um, then they screwed out of town tomorrow. And so does my friend Justina. It has been lovely having some company and um, getting to speak English freely. I can't lie. <laughs> then tomorrow's Monday. We gotta get back to gotta get back to to the grind. Okay, I had another great time with David and Wendy, and we went to Blem, Blem, <laughs> Betlam, Bet Betlam. And it was really delicious. And we ate like kings and queens. We did, and David paid. So thank you, David. We had a David. great time with the Pope. Tilt it up was a awesome. little bit. Oh, we got. Oh, we we want to show you where we are, up my nose hole. Just like an amazing little house. Yeah, the top is the cross. The dragon. The dragon. Scale. Well, that was a really great dinner. I had a really nice time. So nice to catch up 
known each other for so damn long. Um, so, yeah, thanks guys. Thanks again for being a very nice bright spot in my in my Barcelona time. Sorry, Wendy, but I'm gonna have to put out. Your husband bought me dinner, so I'm gonna have to the little grab around. I'm really proud of myself. I just helped people as a local. Uh, somebody asked me where the best place would be to get a cab in the morning to go to the airport tomorrow, Monday morning early. Where should we go? I said, to an app. So I told them not to bother trying to grab one because it's not possible in the mornings in general. So um, I helped people and said, call, go, go through Cabify and order it. I helped. I helped in Barcelona. <laughs> Alright guys, that's going to be it. I will, uh, hopefully in the next video we will have the answer on my visa. We are hoping that the answer will be that I got my visa. But we will, as we do with everything else, find out exactly when we find out. No sooner, no later. Alright. Love you guys, talk to you. Okay, talk to you. Bye. -bye.